Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today we're going to talk about markup mode. Markup mode is a tool that is specifically available on SketchUp for iPad. Um, it's the only platform you can actually use it on. Uh, it leverages the markup tool that Apple has available for iPad. Uh, it's really cool. There's some cool use cases and we're diving those right now. All right, so I'm gonna do most of this with my pencil. Um, there's actually a mode where I can use my finger to do this, but most of it, I mean, markup, drawing over your drawing on your iPad is, you know, it's basically what this thing is for. So we're gonna take a look at using that. I have just created a simple cube right here, something to just draw some stuff over. Um, the markup tool is actually not part of the default menu. We'll have to hit the dot, dot, dot at the very bottom. And it's right here at the top by default, right in the middle, a little marker that says markup. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. It's gonna pull you into a screen that's unlike anything else we have in SketchUp for iPad. Uh, you see your toolbars on the side disappear. You get this little uh, dockable toolbar shows up at the bottom. Um, you may have seen this. this is actually Apple UI. So you may have seen these, this stuff show up in other, uh, programs as well. Up at the top, two buttons, cancel, done. You guys can probably work it out, but I'll tell you exactly what they do. Cancel aborts any markups you have, dumps them, returns to the main screen. Done will say, I want to accept these markups. And we'll talk about what happens when you're done. When you go back out, uh, there is some, some impact on your model, but we'll discuss that after we actually create some markups. All right, so when I'm in here, I'm kind of in a, a static version of the, the uh, model I have here. So I can't, I can't rotate, you see there, as I was trying to rotate, I ended up drawing lines. I can't change my view. So you wanna be conscious of that when you come in here. You wanna be looking at your model the way you wanna mark it up first before you come in. Because once you're here, you're kind of locked into view. What we're doing is we're actually creating an overlay on our model. So you can think about it as like somebody laid down an onion skin or a piece of cellophane over our model, and we're drawing on top of that. That's what's going to happen. So I'm going to do I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and grab. Uh, there's a couple pens here. There's a uh, a ruler for drawing straight lines, kind of a blender and eraser, and then I have three different weights of pens. I'm going to grab this first one and I'm going to switch to a red color. And uh, we're just gonna do, we're, I don't know, say, say I wanna add a window right here. I can come in, right, add a window. Maybe, maybe I wanna, in case you don't know what that is, that's a window. Boom, this is what markup mode does. You can go a lot further. You can start playing around with some of these different uh, pens and, and put different textures and that sort of thing on. But the idea is putting information, drawing information over the top. Maybe I wanna switch to a blue color and then call out that I want a door right here and maybe we'll go to green and say oh there should also be a window over here that's this is kind of idea maybe maybe i want to add you know green shirt here for sal maybe sal should be in green pretty much anything i want to do where i'm going to draw over the top of my existing model is key for markup all right so there we go i got some markups in here once i've done i'm going to click on done this is going to return us out and this is very important what happens now so you'll see when i hit done this wasn't open when i came in but the scenes uh panel is out and i have two scenes i have scene one which was if i double click nothing this is this is actually the view that was up on my screen when i started markup and i have this this scene called markup and then it has today's date and the time at which i started it if i click on that you'll see, okay, this is the markups I just made. Now, remember how I was saying it's like we drew on a piece of cellophane over the top? Watch what happens if I start to orbit. It goes away. That, scene, that, that overlay is only available if I'm in this scene. So if I click it and come back to it, there we go. So the cool part is this scene is saved with it. So it's perfect for passing notes. If I want to give this to the next designer who's going to work on this model, I could send it to them right now. When they open it up, they'll get the same model. They'll see this scene with overlay 
exactly how I'm seeing it. So it's a great way to pass information back and forth. It's also good for just putting notes in for yourself. So now I remember, oh yeah, when I was working on this last, I was gonna put in the windows and doors, but I didn't get to it. And I wanna change Sal's color of his shirt. I remember that because I pull it up and then I have that scene in there. But I go a little bit further than this too. So what I could do is I can select a face. I'm gonna select this front face right here. And if I come back in the scenes and I hit the little dot, dot, dot here next to my markup mode, um, I have this little marker icon. If I look at scene one, I don't have that marker icon. It only happens in markup scenes where I have a face, one or more faces selected. While this is selected, if I tap on that marker icon, now if I come out here and I rotate, look what happened. It took that markup that I created, projected it onto the selected surface, the selected surface only, and it's now actually a texture on the model. Notice this one over here didn't get the green window because I didn't have that selected. Sal didn't get a green shirt because I didn't have the surface of his shirt selected. I always come back in here, hop back over, and if I do want that green, green uh, to window to show up, I come in here, select that, do the same thing, marker, and now I'll have that. It's stretched out, of course, because I drew it in this perspective, and then it actually took it and laid it out, stretched it across. So, you know, it doesn't look as good from this side, but that's because I drew it from over here like this. So that's everything there's a thing about markup mode. The cool thing, like I said, about this is that overlay feature lets you put notes right onto it using the tool that, you know, makes the most sense, uh, this, this here pencil. Uh, one thing I want to point out is if I do click markup mode again, it's going to come up with some options. So I have the option of editing or adding to my current scene, or I can create a new markup scene. Create a new markup scene, goes in, and I have my projected surfaces on. But this is a whole new thing where I could come in and say, okay, get rid of this, uh, put a window in the door. I could mark up on top of that existing information. Another thing just to show dot, dot, dot over here, I do have draw with finger turned on, um, which allows me to go in and, you know, do the same thing with my finger uh, as I can with my pencil. Like I said, that's that's another, like I said, primarily made for this pencil, but you do have an option to, to use your finger in there if you need to. So like I said before, markup mode is primarily a pencil tool. You can use some other ways to do it, but uh, it's really made for that pencil tool and it's only on Sketch or Frypad. You can, these, these show up as scenes, so you can look at markups on other platforms, but you can't create them anywhere other than in SketchUp for iPad. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, above all else, please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Do you like markup mode? What do you use it for? Do you think of some use case that I haven't shown that you think I should? We like making these videos a lot. We like it even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.